Williams, Hapka, Gift Horse, um, David Trigley, really good. There's a paradox in that it's kind of slightly satirical, but then also sincere at the same time. Um, and it's that paradox that I was kind of interested in. And I suppose formally it's sort of an odd thing. I suppose that uh, just in terms of the material, it references everything for the other public sculpture that's in the, that's in the square. But then again, about the it's the same, I mean, it's the same patina, the same bronze, so it's supposed to have that same physical uh, appearance as all the other things, albeit it's a very um, kind of crude, cartoonish, stylized thing. If you're going to make a claim for something to have a positive impact, to change society for the better, then at the moment, part of that change has to include an upturn in the economy. So why not? But like as I was saying, you know, in a way, it's, on one hand, it's completely ridiculous to suggest that public artwork can um, aid the economic recovery. But then at the same time, maybe it isn't. I don't know. Because if you genuinely believe that art is a positive thing, you have to quantify what that positive effect is. All my work has, I guess, has some comedy to it, I suppose. So, and comedy is a, I think it's a positive thing. We all need a bit of comedy. Um, but I'm looking forward to the debate as well. Um, and I think, um, I think when you make a piece of work and you put it in a public space, it changes and there are certain things, there are certain debates you have and certain realizations you can have about the work that, that you can't anticipate uh, and that are interesting that the work changes in a public space because you never have complete control of the context. Um, so that's exciting, that's an exciting proposition.